Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Balik Abdu. Uh, I am from IBM Research. Uh, in this talk, uh, I am, uh, we are going to present uh, an on-chip JSON isolator that uses a single pump drive for its operation. And uh, then uh, we will show how we use it with other superconducting microwave components uh, to achieve a high uh, fidelity qubit readout. But first, uh, why do we need uh, non-reciprocal devices such as circulators and isolators? Uh, we need them because they uh, play several important roles in uh, a high fidelity QND uh, qubit uh, measurement schemes that are required uh, in superconducting quantum computing. Uh, they um, they route the readout signal in a direction and manner. Uh, they separate input from output, and uh, they uh, protect the quantum system uh, from a noise coming from the uh, output chain. Uh, however, a, a circulate, state of the art circulators and isolators um, uh, that are used uh, nowadays are prohibitive uh, in uh, a scalable architectures, as you can see uh, on the a right side of the slide. This is because uh, they are bulky uh, and they rely on magnetic materials and strong magnetic fields that are difficult to uh, integrate on ship um, and uh, incompatible with superconducting circuits. Uh, to uh, uh, tackle this uh, uh, scalability challenge and avoid these uh, uh, disadvantages, uh, we uh, uh, implemented uh, in this uh, paper uh, up uh, uh, on this slide um, uh, an interferometric Jocelyn isolator. Um, and uh, the main uh, building block of this uh, isolator is the Jocelyn parametric converter, uh, JPC. Uh, as you can see here in this uh, block diagram of this uh, a isolator, um, a, it's um, a, uh, built by coupling uh, two uh, identical JPCs uh, in an interferometric scheme. Uh, in this uh, scheme, uh, mode A of the uh, JPCs um, uh, are coupled uh, via a 90 degree hybrid uh, and the mode B of the JPCs uh, are uh, coupled uh, to 50 ohm terminations and an intermediate transmission line. Uh, when, uh, a, by operating this uh, a device uh, in uh, a, the frequency conversion mode uh, and um, a, um, a setting the phase difference between the micro drive to be a pi over two, uh, then uh, we can generate a non-reciprocal uh, response um, that is indicated by this arrow here. So uh, a signal that is uh, a, a propagating in the direction of the arrow will be transmitted uh, from port one to two, but a, a signal that is propagating in the opposite direction will be uh, blocked. Uh, in particular, if we operate the device um, a, or the JPCs, uh, at the 50-50 beam, uh, beam splitter point where uh, half of the signal is reflected and half of it is transmitted by uh, um, and um, uh, uh, undergoes the frequency conversion, uh, then we can show uh, in theory uh, that we get uh, almost a, a near unity transmission uh, in S21 and uh, a vanishing uh, parameters uh, in the opposite direction and the reflection parameters. So uh, previously we implemented this uh, uh, isolator uh, scheme uh, uh, in the form of an integrated circuit. Uh, we integrated uh, the two JPCs, uh, uh, two JPCs uh, into a printed circuit board uh, that contains uh, the uh, 90 degree hybrid and uh, transmission line. And uh, we also showed that uh, the device works as an uh, isolator um, uh, by, for example, by setting the phase difference between the two pumps feeding the two JPCs to be pi over two, uh, and then the directionality is from uh, uh, port one to two. And indeed, uh, when we measure the transmission parameters uh, versus uh, a signal frequency, 
Uh, we see uh, a, a almost near a, a unity transmission in S21, uh, but a large uh, dip uh, a, um, in S12. And uh, uh, if we shift this phase difference by pi, uh, we see that the device response is, is uh, a reversed as, as expected. Um, and uh, this, this result, um, uh, uh, although we, um, uh, uh, the device works, uh, it has two uh, main drawbacks. One uh, is that it's a hybrid uh, of uh, normal and superconducting uh, uh, circuits. Uh, and uh, the second, uh, it requires for its operation uh, two pumps um, or at least two input uh, lines in the fridge. So in this work, uh, we realized an on-ship uh, a, a just an isolator that uses a single a, a pump drive. Uh, as you can see here in the photos uh, at the bottom, and uh, in this uh, new device, uh, the 90 degree hybrid, the two JPCs and the transmission line are all superconducting and implemented on the same chip. Uh, uh, and we uh, implemented on the same chip a 90 degree hybrid for the pump drive that is coupled to the feed lines of the two JPCs. Since this 90 degree hybrid uh, splits the uh, uh, pump power evenly between the two stages, and imposes the required phase difference by design, uh, we are able to uh, operate this device uh, using a single a pump a tone. Uh, these changes uh, lead to uh, several advantages, uh, they, uh, such as reduction in the microwave, uh, in the number of uh, microwave sources, uh, easier tune-up uh, procedures, uh, enhanced stability over time, uh, simpler uh, control and reduced losses. So uh, when we measure the uh, uh, transmission parameters of this device versus uh, the signal frequency, uh, we see that device uh, works and uh, acts as, a, a, as an isolator, uh, as, as you can see here. And uh, uh, we see that uh, we are able to generate uh, uh, almost uh, a unity transmission uh, in, uh, in one direction and uh, strong isolation in the opposite direction, depending on which uh, a port uh, we are feeding uh, the, the pump uh, uh, to. Uh, also, uh, we see that the reflection parameters remain small, uh, whether the pump is on and off. Uh, moreover, uh, these results uh, are important because uh, they um, a, a provide a, a, an experimental confirmation uh, to the a theory prediction that the phase gradient condition for non-reciprocity is plus uh, and minus pi over 2 and not any other a phase phases. Uh, next, uh, we can uh, a flux tune uh, our a, a device uh, to a certain uh, a center frequency, and uh, we can vary uh, the a pump uh, a power uh, a while keeping the pump frequency fixed. And uh, as you can see here uh, in these uh, graphs, um, the device response is uh, uh, monotonic and uh, stable, very similar to uh, the observed response of uh, JPAs and JPCs. Uh, we also measured the uh, tunable bandwidth of the device, uh, and we find that it's about 300 megahertz. Uh, in this measurement, we uh, flux uh, uh, tune the two adjacent ring modulators of the JPCs in tandem, uh, and for each uh, a, a flux working point, um, we adjust the pump uh, a frequency and a power uh, to yield uh, a, a, an isolation of at least uh, 15 dB, uh, depending on uh, in the direction uh, uh, that depends on the, um, uh, where we are feeding the pump into. Uh, in this slide, uh, we are showing one remarkable result of uh, this work. Uh, uh, it it, uh, uh, it demonstrates that. 
uh, the sign of the directionality uh, or the transmission and the isolation direction is uh, determined not only by the, uh, uh, the port uh, in which you feed the pump to, uh, but also uh, on the parity uh, of the magnetic fluxes uh, threading uh, the, the two uh, Johnson ring modulators, uh, or the uh, parity of the uh, um, circulating currents uh, flowing in these uh, Johnson ring modulators, uh, which in turn uh, uh, determines the sign of the coupling between the modes. So uh, what you see here is that uh, uh, if we keep the pump drive uh, the, the same uh, and we uh, uh, feed it uh, into the same uh, port, uh, then uh, we can uh, reverse the uh, non-reciprocity uh, uh, by um, uh, flipping the flux in one loop, uh, like uh, you see on the right side. Uh, or you can preserve this uh, uh, directionality by flipping the, the fluxes in two loops. Uh, this result uh, opens the door uh, for uh, um, a detection of the orientation of uh, weak magnetic uh, sources uh, uh, using a simple uh, microwave transmission uh, measurements. Uh, following these uh, 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 results, uh, we went a few steps further. Uh, we built um, a, a motherboard um, that could replace uh, uh, the isolators and circulators uh, that uh, we, uh, we use in our high fidelity uh, readout uh, chains. Uh, uh, on the top, uh, you see the, the layout of this uh, motherboard, and uh, at the bottom you see a photo of it. And uh, this motherboard uh, integrates uh, uh, several uh, components, a parcel filter, a superconducting directional coupler, two Johnson isolators, and one Johnson directional amplifier. The uh, motherboard has a few uh, uh, ports uh, in which we uh, feed the, the uh, uh, pump drives. Uh, to power these Johnson devices, and it has uh, three main uh, uh, ports. One is the readout uh, that is uh, uh, coupled to the readout uh, input line. One is that's connected to the uh, qubit chip, and the third one is connected to the readout output line. Um, when uh, we uh, measure this uh, device, uh, um, uh, with a superconducting uh, with a superconducting qubit coupled to a readout resonator, and without any intermediate uh, uh, circulators and isolators, uh, uh, we uh, we achieve uh, a high fidelity readout uh, and uh, a good coherence. Uh, more specifically, uh, if we turn on the first uh, 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 Johnson isolator and uh, a directional amplifier. Uh, unfortunately, in, in this uh, uh, experiment, the, the second Johnson isolator got damaged during wire bonding, so uh, it, it wasn't uh, part of this experiment. Um, uh, we get uh, a fidelity of 92%, uh, a percent, and uh, we preserve uh, T1 and maintain 75% uh, of T2 echo uh, when compared to the baseline case uh, in which uh, uh, these uh, Johnson isolators are off. Uh, looking forward, uh, we would like to um, uh, realize a single a pump version of this uh, a, a directional amplifier. Uh, we would like to uh, improve the components uh, of, of this motherboard uh, to, to uh, maintain T2 echo. Uh, and uh, we would like to enhance uh, the saturation power and bandwidth of these uh, Johnson I, uh, uh, components uh, to support a multiplex readout. Thank you very much.